champions welcome to yet another exciting class yes today our learning targets are i can practice my new spelling words i can plan the and draft a book report i can ask and answer questions about key details in the story the hairs and the frog now today we are going to be reading the hairs and the frog but before we do so before we do so hairs are also called jack rabbits hairs look like rabbits and they run very very fast they are bigger than normal rabbits yes and build their homes above ground rabbits build their holes in the ground while hairs build their holes above the ground because they are quite bigger now let's preview the spellings we have the a sounds these are spellings that will come across in um what we're going to read so we have the a sound we have the o sound we have the o sound and we have our tricky words i remember i always say that tricky words are words that do not play by the rules they are words that do not follow the rules you can either define it either ways so the a sound on that a sound we have hey 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 we have scares 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 and we have scared 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 now under the old sound we have quotes 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 under the old sound we have stood we have good we have look and we have brook stood good look and brook stood good look and brook now other tricky words we have do so where and are do so where and are our vocabulary we will come across is brook 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 is like a small water located at a particular place now we have bunch bunch you can say a bunch of banana a bunch of grapes bunch now we have hair 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 it's quite bigger than the normal rabbit we all know and it builds its house above the ground level now let's read the story to find out the moral or lesson in today's story the hairs and the frogs Three hairs stood in the grass. I am sad, one of them said. I wish we were brave. So do I, said the next one. But we are not brave. A splash in the brook scares us. The wind in the grass scares us. We are scared all the time. Yes, said the last one. It is sad to be a hair. Just then there was a splash in the brook. The splash scared the hairs. They ran off to hide. As they ran, they scared a bunch of frogs. Look, said one of the hares. The frogs are scared of us. Yes, they are, said the next hare. They are scared of us. Well, I'm glad I'm not a frog. Yes, said the last hare. In the end, it is good to be a hare. As you can see, they scared the frogs. Now we are going to read questions from the hares and the frog. What word would you use to describe the hares? They are sad and scared. What type of things scares the hares? A splash in the brook and the wind blowing in the grass scares the hares. What happened when the hares ran off to hide? When the hares ran, off to hide they scare a bunch of frogs what do, does the last hair said after scaring the frogs in the end it is good to be a hair so you have to always acknowledge what you are what do you think the moral or lesson is in the fable love who you are which i said before there is always someone else who may be having a harder time than you always love who you are because there is someone out there who 
may be facing challenges or who is having a harder time than you are. So I want you to complete the activity on your worksheet 6.1, writing a book report. We are going to be working on another writing project. When we write, we go through different steps and this is called the writing process. Now those steps are the planning step, the drafting step, the editing step and the publishing step. These four steps are under the writing process. Now, today we will be working on the first and second step of the writing process, which is the planning process and the drafting process. Plan and draft. We will think about the story, the two dogs, and we tell it together. Now we will be writing a book report. A book report retells events of a story in order. It includes details about what happened in the story. Now we have characters. While writing, you have to talk about characters. You have to talk about the setting. Now what are characters? Characters are people or animals in the story. Characters are people or animals in a story. Why the setting is a place where the story took place. It can take place in, in your house. It can take place in the school, children's academy nursery and primary it can take place in children's academy montessori it can take place in your home the marketplace the hospitals it can take place anywhere now the name of the tale the name of the tale is the title of the story of fable when you're planning you have to think about the name of what you're trying to write about you cannot just start writing without having what you want to write about you have to know what you want to write about for example if you are writing about yourself first of all you write the title which is yourself then that is your title then it is written boldly at the top of the first page of each tale now we will be using the word tale to refer to the story we are writing now also, you have to consider the characters who are in the story, who and who sh showed or showcased in the story, who, what characters you want to place in the story. Now, you're writing about yourself. You can talk about your mother, your father. You have how many siblings, for example. Now, we will just list out the names. For example, remember I just said we are using this as an, like, as an example, but we are actually talking about the dogs. Now, where did the story take place where it took place in a house the house where the fat dog stays so it took place in the house then you tell us once they're aware what happened at the beginning of the story you know every story must have a beginning a middle and an ending and once you're writing the beginning you have to start with a capital letter you start with a capital letter then next which is the middle i said that every story should also have a middle so you write what happened which is the body of the story now the last part is you write what happened at the end at this last part you can also include the morals so on your worksheet 6.2 you are going to complete the activity on your worksheet 6.2 now we will be working on a second step in the writing process which is the drafting step now this drafting step what does it do this is when you write down everything you have already planned about for example here are some tips to help you write your draft which we've talked about before you have to add tricky words you have to add use transition words in your writing and you have to use paragraph this is where all these things come into place now you're going to draft what we've talked about on your worksheet 3.6.3 now we have we have a new list of spelling words this week. These are words that you will be studying at your houses, at your homes. Now let's practice these words together. We have frog, frog. We have moth, moth. We have quotes. We have spoon, spoon, spoon. We have tooth, tooth, tooth. We have wood, 
wood wood we have took 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 and our tricky word why remember i said that tricky words are words that do not play by the rules now this week this is our spelling words for the week we have frog mouth what spoon tooth wood took and why which is our tricky words now these spelling words will actually help these sounds without the sounds we won't, we won't know how to spell our words so you have to know sounds because sounds help us know how to spell words so frog is spelled f r a g frog f r a g so quotes you have quotes you have spoon you have wood they are all demarcated or they are all separated with their sounds uh tricky word why remember we've already talked about these tricky words are words that do not play by the rules now you're going to complete the activity on your worksheet 6.4 please practice your spellings at home wiggle cards now the fun part of this wiggle card whenever we come across wiggle card i get so happy because we tend to act we tend to perform what our wiggle card says now the first wiggle card slide says a good a good the next one says a good book a good book my foot my foot take a look you can say take a look at me or take a look at that house or take a look at that little cat or take a look at that dog now we have on the hook on the hook in a nook in a nook took some wood took some wood have a look have a look cook some cake cook some cake in a brook in a brook thank you for having an amazing time with me i remain your teacher miss sharon so we meet again in our next video bye